Oh, that's a long, that's a fade, long, out. That's a long fade out. That's a long fade out. That yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, a pro, on, that's like on your favourite song. Anyway. Anyway. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Oh, I've got a wooden knob. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Is that how you introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello, my name's Pete. I've got a wooden knob. <laughs> Um, it's like a pirate, but, just, <laughs> but not a surf. Well, today cool. we're looking at FGN guitars, but before mm. we do, uh, it always helps if you would like and subscribe to this little old channel of ours, trying to get to that million subscribers so that one of you will win a clon. Yeah, um, and we can finally retire. Finally, finally. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what are we going to do? If you want to use the timestamps below, we're, you know, you might want to fast forward to one of the other guitars here. Yeah. Um, but... Earlier this year, 2023, uh -huh. Anderton's decided to start stocking a brand called FGN. Uh, I was uh, mistakenly calling them Fujigen for uh, many times. It's Fujigen, hard G. Fujigen. Oh, is it? Uh, yep, and oh. it's one of the most um, well-established, famous uh, factories, guitar manufacturers yeah. in Japan. They've Absolutely. made guitars for everybody over the years, I yeah. mean, most famously for many years, Fender, but honestly, literally everyone. Uh, and FGN is kind of their house brand. So if you're looking, if you're sort of, you know, if you're one of those kind of guitar players that's less interested about what the name is on the headstock and more interested in just the value, you know, proposition of the guitar, you just want the best yeah. value. Mm -hmm. uh, FGN uh, starts from about 500 pounds mm -hmm. with some Telecaster style looking guitars. Goes right up to these master field guitars that we're going to talk about master today. Field. But they're all, regardless of how much they cost, I think you can compare them to similar quality with a more famous brand and you'll agree that, you know, the FGN stuff is great value. Mm -hmm. um, We've done some videos if you want to, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. they were up there if you want to have a look. Absolutely. At those. So, um, yes, the, the main video of FGN is up there and it's a kind of a run through, but we didn't have Masterfield at the time, so we couldn't include them. Nope. Um, and actually, we've got a fifth guitar as well that's that's similarly sort of expensive, but this is from what they call their expert range. That's beautiful. Um, and there are some um, Les Paul looking guitars as well that we've used in various shootouts, um, which again, you have to see. So we might as well start with the two uh, most ridiculous guitars for Pete and I to play, or certainly for me to play anyway. I mean, um, this is the most ridiculous for anyone to play because it's a floating uh, pickup and a floating, yeah. it's everything, you know. And it's just going, Ooh. anyway. Mine too, literally. We're not super loud in here, but I could feel the feedback coming. So oh. anyway, these are particularly Pete's, but I suppose these are super synonymous with Gibson jazz style guitars. Yeah. Pete's there is really going for that kind of acoustic vibe. So um, the pick, nothing is mounted to the uh, top on that guitar. It's a beautiful arch top, yeah. but you can see the bridge is actually mounted to the rear. Mm -hmm. The, um, sorry, the, the, um, yeah, the, the tailpiece. tailpiece is mounted to the rear. Beautiful the, tailpiece. The bridge is floating. So if we take uh -huh. the strings off, that'll just come off. The pickup is mounted to the neck. The scratch plate is mounted to the neck and the side, and then the knobs are mounted on the scratch plate. So you've got this, idea of this like super resonant top on the guitar single oh. mini humbucker looks like looks wow. like you've got an ebony fretboard there um, i mean it's, it's all of the beautiful things like the you know like i would assume it's like a a, a three maple um ply top here i will give you the specs yeah let's have a listen um, but look at this here look on the back look at that beautiful thing I think the That's general stunning, consensus here Flame is maple. there are other there are american <gasps> brands that will make this style of guitar yeah, Gibson. Uh, Gibson being the most famous yeah, the one. Does Heritage do a, they do a the jazz big, box? They yeah, do a absolutely. two humbucker one. They do they? a jazz they do box, a jazz box as well. I'm sure they do. But you're typically talking probably neck. four to five thousand pounds if you want to buy this guitar in America. Wait, I think Gibson. More. Gibson. Yeah. <sighs> so the FGN stuff here, you're, you're talking a shade over two thousand pounds. So, no, 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 you know, maybe no, no. half. So the basic spec of the model that Pete has got, and this is called an MFA-FP, a typically a Japanese unromantic model name. It's like Ibanez, it's just like... I know, you, what you really have want you got to the be new called is MFC like a Super 400 or a Birdland or something, don't you? Yeah. But no, it's an MF, yeah. uh, MFA FP. Anyway, look, so it's a set neck. It is a spruce top with a curly maple back and sides. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The neck is a five-piece laminate of mahogany and maple. I look say laminate like a, you yeah. know, yeah, but with the, you can see. Oh, it's so smooth to the e touch, man. Yeah, ebony fingerboard, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. Uh, ebony bridge, um, FGN designed tailpiece, all gold hardware. Has an FGN designed uh, mini humbucker at uh -huh. the, uh, on, you know, attached to the neck. Uh, and then, yeah, oh, you've, you've got a push pull apparently on this. Is that right? Oh! Look at that. You don't get that one, jazz guitars. Beautiful hard case that maybe we'll show you a sweep of now. Only comes in one color. 
And this um, is the only car that needs to be. I've just remembered, <laughs> of course, from the, from the FGN um, main video we did, that FGN's kind of proprietary <laughs> fang, that's all right, bless you, Thank is you. their circle fretting system. So oh, it's yes. almost hard to see to the eye, but every fret has this slight sort of, you know, crescent moon kind of radius. I can see that, it. yeah. Um, which... <laughs> I was stop sniffing guitars. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Which I think says it helps with kind of intonation and just yeah. general uh, string clarity. Uh, that's it, basically. You're, you're right that on the the uh, coiled split here is a split, not a tap, so it just engages the front facing single coil of that pickup. I love a mini humbugger split. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all there is to tell you until Mr. Pete just gives it. Okay. Put it, I'm, I'm in one of these completely famous jazz guitar amps, <laughs> the Friedman and the Sister. Um. Flat wounds. You got to talk to me about flat wounds, Pete. I, I can't remember the last time I played flat wounds. Um, it's they're just you know if you look at a string normally it was it'd be like I'm just gonna having a core string like this and then the windings are like that so you can feel this thing on the strings right. Flat wounds are just. Done like that, but then completely ground down. Ground down, so you can't hear anything when I'm doing that. They're kind of synonymous with a with a. It's, it's just super, super like a jazzy tone. But I, <laughs> excuse in me. In my, um, this I thought they were more synonymous with like a darker thumpy tone. But unless you start rolling the tone off, they're still no, quite no, no, bright, I'm, aren't I'm they? Very acoustic sounding. Yeah, but listen to this. You know. It's got that quacky hollow yeah, sort of thing. Oh, I'm shaking the neck, that doesn't do anything at all, does it? It's, uh, it's been a while since I've played anything like this. If you roll the tone back, is it does it go sort of jazz and thumpy? Yeah, yeah, it's got it's got the. I kind of feel when you have nice. a guitar like this, it makes the whole, you know, does the body make a difference argument so ridiculous. It's so obviously an acoustic <laughs> sounding yeah. guitar with a uh, yeah. magnetic pick. You know, if all you were hearing were the strings and the pickup, it just wouldn't sound like that. No. Um, it, yeah. I mean, it but, makes it a huge difference, doesn't it? It's lovely. It's it is, so beautiful. It is lovely. I mean, it's just typical top end Japanese manufacturing. So, you, you know, you will not find imperfections on these. There's, it's it, it will just be, absolutely perfectly yeah, done. It'll be the most, you know, senior, most experienced luthiers at the um, Fujigen factory working on this kind of master feel stuff. How smooth is it to, to, to feel the neck? What yeah. is this? Is this poly lacquer on here? It doesn't say, but it probably is. Yeah. I think, I mean... I don't, I'm not getting the hasn't got the nitro I did get smell. Some, uh, I get some sawdust in my nose when I Yeah, I think that's it. probably, you know, the, the main constructional difference between these and Have a look inside and, say, and see how beautiful that flame is on the back. Oh yeah, on, you can actually see it through the You can the see the flame through the earful. Super. I mean, it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, yeah. 
Holy I'm not smokes. going to play this one, Pete. You need to please demo. Oh, course, I, you know, okay. it's interesting as well. Even the jack socket, in, you know, has been mounted into the back of the tailpiece yeah. on this. This is a, a more traditional yeah. um, two humbucker guitar now. You'll see. You can Brian see the similarities, but obviously it's different. I don't think there's coil splits on those. In fact, whilst you familiarise yourself with that, let me find the specaroonie of this guitar. Oh, this, is, this is more familiar. Okay, so this is called an MFA HH. Again, Ooh. only available in this one colour. Humbugger, humbugger. Pretty much all the spec is the same as, in fact, looking in here. Yeah, yeah it looks all like it's the same. All the spec is the same. Neg is different. Except we've got a rosewood fretboard now. Oh. Um, nice. Same inlays, but uh, yeah, different fretboard, same scale length. Everything else the same, other than we've now got two FGN uh, humbuckers on it. Okay. Um, well, with, yeah, uh... no, no coil split now, so just a traditional. Oh, they they are 11 to 50 gauge flat wound Daddario strings. Yeah, and I again, can feel that. It comes with a beautiful but they, case. They, they need to. They need to be. I mean, the, the accent is proper jazzy and everything. It's... it's a great headstock. I can't, you know, it's a little bit out there, isn't it? The headstock shape, but actually, I kind of quite. Oh, it's got a little. I quite uh, like it. A little surf wavy sort of. Wow. Um, I mean, I think with that wow. style of guitar, you begin to see those early. Uh, big band kind of rock and roll yeah, guitar yeah. players, you know, your Scotty Moore type things. So that yes. I think has got a bit more rock and roll about it, whereas this is pretty much pure jazz. Being. Even. Uh... You can't bend it because it's. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, I suppose the the closest sort of wow. well-known brand to this will be Ibanez do some jazzy yeah, they do kind of guitars, you know, things. with some things like the George Bensons and the yeah. Panathini models and stuff like that. Um, I, to be honest, it's been a while since I looked at the price of those. I, I think they're probably similar price, similarish, a little bit more maybe. Um, may, yeah, they, yeah, but. Wow. And I mean, I mean, these are just spectacular build quality. You know, he plays an old uh, Gibson ES275. Does he? And I think he does some of that like. You know that uh, only thing that he's good yeah. at you? Keegan kind of... Uh... I think you'd want, you could get away with, uh, if you're going to play that style, you'd want some round wound strings and maybe a slightly lighter gauge on there. Yeah. Um, but you can do that. You don't have to stick with uh, flat wounds on these guitars. This is how they come. It's so, lovely. Hang on. Can you, just, um, you can do whatever you like. I'm well. enjoying listening to you. We didn't do really the, the, the pickups, did we? So here's the neck. Two together. Oh, this is smooth. Ooh. Super well balanced, isn't it? In it.
Are you going to play? It's all the conservatoire stuff coming back now. It's been a while since you had to do all that, hasn't oh, it? No, it's more like playing like... You know, and then change for millions of... I can't even remember. No, I just play rugby anyway, all day long. so these are great. These Beautiful are great. Beautiful thing, man. Uh, the next two, if Pete grabs the red one and I grab the white one, are basically uh -huh. the, oh, the same... same okay guitar although the white one is referred to the custom because it's got the gold hardware and the it's just smaller. Um, is that slightly smaller? binding it's smaller than a 335 it's not is it's it three, the three, same three, size as the white one yeah but 339 three, might size. be a bit bigger than a 339 three, it's hard, it almost looks like in between so you've Ooh. got a, a rosewood board oh, dot lovely. inlay chrome hardware i've got a ebony board um block inlay gold hardware with as I said with the multiply binding i think yours is the maybe the two ply this is the five ply so it's much yeah two you can, you can see one. what they're trying to do here with the sort of the custom versus the sort of standard tell you what, look that binding is just perfect all the way around here let me tell you exactly uh what these models are called and again i can see the flame maple neck inside the hole here yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's a so proper flame top, man. They're both called MSA-HPs. Oh, this so is easy. the custom version, the C version. So set neck, curly maple top with mahogany sides. Interesting. Mahogany U-shaped neck, rosewood board. I'm reading the specs out for the red one now. Yeah. 24 three quarter inch scale length. So all Goto um, hardware on the, the bridge and the tuners and the tailpiece. FGN Alnico 3 uh, pickups. Okay. No coil tappy tappy or anything. Nice case included. Yeah. Let me just whiz through the. Oh! I just want to literally triple <laughs> dipple check. There's nothing else different. No, there's nothing else different about the white one other than the um, ebony fretboard, the uh, okay. inlays, and the binding. And I the really color. like this headstock with this little carving here. It's super cool. Yeah, man. I'll be honest with you. A little flick in the, of this sort of a little wavy kind of thing. I wonder what that's, well, that's that must be like a Japanese thing. Yeah, at least um, it's, oh, you know what, actually, on the jazz ones, what have you got on there? I, this no, is a, it's the same thing. It's not. That one's got like a little wave. This yeah. one, this one's, oh, this interesting. One's so this wave, one yeah. isn't, this one is just cut. I wonder if that's just something that they're changing over to because I've not I um I like that little this little yeah. thing here that's very nice well let's try and see what the next pickup sounds like in this an equal three isn't it? Pushes the amp, so, doesn't it, nicely? Again, just... Oh, to give you a little really price nice. comparison, uh -huh. I'm just checking our pricing at the moment. Yep. So standard USA Gibson 335 pricing is about 3400 now for a gloss finished 335. Yep. If you want to go custom shop or figured <laughs> tops, so figured tops is another three or 400 quid. Custom yeah. shop, you're going north of five grand now. These are just under two. So, you know, they're obviously not nitro, obviously doesn't say Gibson at the headstock, so, no, you, you know, know, your but second hand value. Heritage, it's just that kind of yeah. thing, you know. Let's try a bit of a protein. And a bit of audio effects.
Sounds There's great. There's nothing wrong with that. It plays nicely. It feels so, yeah. lovely. Center block Ooh. design. So, you know, it's all the flavors of 325. Have a little, but, but, uh, have a little go on sure? that one there. Um, you sure? Yeah. Okay. I mean, again, I've got the same basic guitar. <laughs> I'm in here. It doesn't matter. Uh, Any key is good. Any key is good. What else have I got on here that I can just. Uh... <laughs> guitars aren't they Absolutely. I, mean, I always kind of feel nothing wrong with that there's always value out there ladies and gentlemen if you don't want to pay the fender yeah. gibson you the know brand I, you pay you for a pay. little bit extra for that little you can always yeah. but always bear in mind as well when you come to resell the guitar at the end normally the ones with the names on the top go for a big premium and the ones that no one have heard of or are less well known you take a bit of a bomb on the price so yeah, yeah just yeah. bear in yeah, mind yeah, yeah. Uh, okay i've got one more guitar to show you uh-huh kind of feel like pete you should do the honors really? with this one as well i don't think you so, should do that one what did this remind you of when you first saw this well it reminded me either of a nikuba or a Seth seth Bacchus. Right. It's got that not nautilus kind of that thing that they do um, with the little carve in it, with that German carve sort of top on it. It's not a German carve, but you know what I mean. That yeah. kind I mean, of. I mean, I see it. I see a nags, and I nags. see that the is it Eric Steckel? I know I follow yeah. him on YouTube. He's an absolutely monster. lunatic monster guitar player yeah. who has a nags signature guitar. Well, maybe they make nags. Um, and I'm fairly sure there's a somewhere down the line here. There's a, all roads go back to Paul Reed Smith and kind of you know those kind of that modern single mm -hmm. cut you play, kind you of play. vibe. You Go sure? Ahead. Yes, absolutely. Um, I play all the time. Okay, let me just give you the specs on this. Did I say this was part of the expert range? I think this the model is called an expert, but it's part of the flame range. Yeah, As well, I, I say, I say range. It's the only guitar the only in the only color, let and it have a look basically here. describes it as um, a modern style single cut. Um, so anyway, just see here. the specs on the EFL FM R. Oh, God. Is a set neck flame maple top with a mahogany back. I recognize this from somewhere. Uh, mahogany U shaped neck, rosewood board, 24 three quarter inch scale, 22 frets using again that uh, circular fretting system, Goto hardware, yes. FGN FL1N and FL1B pickups. Uh, no um, no uh, coil taps or anything, lovely cases again. You've got wicked inlays as well. You've got the reveal binding, yeah, split diamond inlays, and then you've got a bound neck as well. Oh, it is, isn't it? But then you know, so but that just that's a Les Paul, isn't it? Really, 
Don't but know. it's got that carve with that little extra bits in it. Uh, a couple anyway. of other things here. So we've got a satin finish neck, which Ooh. is scarfed off. So the uh, gloss scarfed. is on the headstock excuse and you. the body. Yeah, excuse me. Belly cut. Um, string through. Oh, yeah. Belly cut and string through. Yeah, well, look, it is modern. It's like a modern take, isn't it? What? As I said right at the beginning of the video, they do do two or three much more traditional single cut designs, which are in other videos. Like, what? Is the, can that go top loaded as well, then? No, oh, hang on a second. It is top loaded. So it is top loaded through. But what's the, the string through then? Because I guess you, you can do both. Can, yeah, there are holes underneath it. If you, I'm what? guessing this. Now, if I'm completely honest, I don't think I've ever seen this Goto uh, tailpiece here. Let me see if I can. But yeah, okay, so you've got choices. You can string it up through the body and it'll come up through the holes here and normal. Absolutely, or you can string it through the back man. through the tailpiece. That's a cool idea, it's isn't it? It's a great it? idea. I like that. Pete and I both agree, FGN, if you are watching, yes. this would have looked nicer if it had covered pickups on yeah. it. Yeah, and perhaps some different uh, uh, um, knobs for, yeah. Yeah, they you're right, nice actually. They could, have, knobs or something. they could have chosen some nicer knobs. I tell you what I do like is a little routed out um, yeah. uh, hole for here. Anyway, switch, enough talking talking. Rooney. I mean, Ooh. I haven't changed the settings on my amp, and this thing is a beast, you know. That's no pedals. That sounds wicked, man. That's It really sounds good. Put a good. Kernum Ridge on. And then remember to play in the same, in the same key. key. I tell you what I would do with this guitar. Can I just can I point? Can I say yes, what I would do? do. Got, I would put these kind of tuners on it. So like you know, not, yeah, not necessarily vintage these, style but, tuners. But vintage style tuners. I would put a vintage style knob on there instead like a of that silver one. You know what? Though? This is like, like a, a low profile. Knob. This is like yeah. a smaller knob. Yeah, for no, no, no. That, uh, and then silver, silver, yeah, for smaller knobs. Uh, silver pickup covers 100%. and some different uh, knobs yeah. on it. I yeah. think it would look. Ten times better. Yeah, I kind that's of just my, inclined to agree with you. It would just you. make it pop um, a bit more, you know. But don't change the sound or the way it plays. No, 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 it sounds, sounds great. Flame my maple binding on the neck as well. Yeah, Ooh, but it's it looks really so nicely done. Nice. You can, I don't know why, but what a snack! I can see, you can see that the uh, thing. the smiley face frets a bit more. Yeah. Think. Played this much recently. That's good, man. I mean, it's great. It's definitely got that sort of. Can I try it as well? It's kind of exactly what you'd want from a modern. Oh, single it's cut. It's got a good you know. weight to it yeah, as well. Yeah, because it's, it's I, not super I, heavy. I kind but... of feel like if you just went. You know, if you're just going to completely rip off a Gibson, there's always an argument that says, why don't you just buy the Gibson? Uh, although I suppose we did it's got a much about slimmer neck. Thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. But it's got a much slimmer neck as well. It's not like a fat 59 yeah. neck. This is more yeah. like a 60s yeah. neck, isn't it? It's a good looking guitar, man. Looks pretty. <coughs> I mean, do you know what? It's such a... Sh they've, got <coughs> to put Speed chrome, they've got to put chrome covers on that. There's chrome something covers. about the open pickups <coughs> that cheapens the look. Yeah, and these, if you're watching these are a little FGM. bit cheap. Maybe put gold ones on those. Anyway, let's, can I just see what it sounds like? Holy it's so pokey, isn't it? Sugar it's like whatever those pickups are. I don't know if FGN sell aftermarket pickups, but it's super pokey. Is this 
flat board. This is flat. Isn't it? <laughs> as well <laughs> i think nags is an american brand isn't it but I, it doesn't wow. list what the fretboard radius on the website is but it feels very traditional like a 12 something yeah like 12 that, you know but um, um, this is really nice guitar yeah. i mean I, I i like it slightly chunkier neck myself but it just sounds phenomenal man that's the dane <laughs> guitar amp is much happier with that style of guitar than it was with that style absolutely of but even yeah this one you need like a galleon yeah. groove or something or a little <laughs> little mini brute wasn't it yeah. poly brute something anyway right we're wow. done i think there you go yeah, fgm yeah, yeah. guitars super value uh we stopped pretty much the whole lot from the the most affordable wow. through to these masterfield guitars so go check them out on the website they're very cool uh thank you very much for watching thank you and we'll see you next time love you loads goodbye